So welcome to today's video and another episode of Two Minute Tuesday. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about developing flexibility for tennis. So in today's video, I wanna talk about flexibility for tennis and I will do my best to stay within the two minute timer. Last week I went a little bit over, so it is quite difficult to keep these pieces of information within that time frame. Anyway, flexibility for tennis. Flexibility is incredibly important for tennis, primarily to ensure that we are minimizing risk of injury, but also to make sure that we're meeting the demands of the sport, particularly during certain movements. It's definitely went out wide in and around A minus and D plus on the tennis court. The main point I want to make today is that flexibility is not developed in the way in which most people think it is. Most people, when we think of flexibility, think about doing lots of stretches. It's important that we remember that we have not developed inflexibility overnight. Postural changes happen through process of evolution. They happen over thousands of years, not, not days. Having the expectation that holding a stretch a couple of times a week for maybe a period of 60 seconds will improve your flexibility is, is just completely inappropriate and incorrect in my opinion. The best way to make change is to make sure that you are putting stress or sufficient stimulus on the nervous system through strength training. Now you'll see on the screen at the moment a perfect example of an exercise which in, in my opinion is incredibly useful not only for developing single leg strength within the hip and knee musculature also for developing really good hip and knee mobility at the same time. Now the reason why this is incredibly effective at developing flexibility is because we're putting pressure on the nervous system due to the intensity in which we are training. Holding a static stretch for a period of time will not develop flexibility. Making sure that you're lifting weights, getting in the gym two, three, maybe four times a week depending on your tennis schedule and lifting the appropriate weight, high enough intensity more importantly, through the correct range of motion is the best way to develop flexibility. Think about the rear foot elevated split squat, which you'll see on the screen. Think about the likes of a lateral or a Cossack lunge, which I'll place on the screen. Think about movements that put demand on the range of motion through each joint. Yes, mobility and, and specific stretches can help with recovery. They can alleviate muscle soreness, maybe after, after a tennis match maybe after a, a heavy training session, maybe you've accumulated some muscle fatigue over two or three days of training. Stretching, foam rolling, that sort of stuff is absolutely fine to help with recovery, but if you want to develop flexibility, you have to put enough stress on the neuromuscular system and develop strength through range of motion. Really important. I'd be interested to hear your comments on this. Please comment below if you've had any experience of not being able to develop flexibility just by doing weeks and weeks and weeks of monotonous and relatively boring flexibility training at home. At the same time, it'd be really interesting to hear if any of you guys have experienced improvements in your flexibility through doing the likes of lunge type movements or, or deep squats and so on and so forth. Anyway, very short and sweet. I did try and promise to make sure that it would stay within the two minutes this week. Please do hit the subscribe button below. More importantly, ensure that you click on the bell icon to be notified of the release of the next video. I'll be getting a video out to you guys on Friday. And what you will also see is an exercise library being released whereby I will be giving short, condensed and concise exercise demonstration videos that I will primarily use for the clients that I currently train in the, the training programs. I'll be using those videos to place within the training programs. I'm gonna keep these videos public so that you guys can see them as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, please hit the bell icon, and I will see you on Friday.